Hey. Here we go again. What? What? Damn, I said I was going to start posting more often and I haven't posted. Ooh. Oh god. Alright, so for today's video, I will be doing a shoe collection video. And, you know, a lot of people have been asking me to do this video. Why are you always lying? I'm just kidding. Nobody asked me to. But I'm still filming it. <laughs> you know those people who, like, they're always like, A lot of people have been asking me. A lot of people have been wondering. No, they haven't. Stop lying. Ooh. But, like, for real, though, like, nobody has asked me to. Just, like, Ooh. probably, like, one person. But, like, I really like shoes. So I decided to show you guys some of my shoes. Maybe, you know, show you some shoes that you can get for, like, you know, like, a everyday type of, like, you can, like, you can like wear everyday type of shoes, you know? You do, you can, you, you want. Oh my god, what was that? My bad. <laughs> so, like, if there's one thing that I'm really obsessed with, I think it would be shoes. Yeah, definitely. I, I don't know, I just really like shoes. Um, and I also want to give a quick thanks to GOAT for sponsoring this video. I'm just kidding. I wish. <laughs> Maybe one day. Um, <laughs> one day? I'm just kidding. <laughs> So, I will be going through them kind of quick because um, I don't want to make this video too long. So, my favorite brand of shoes has to be Nike and Vans, for sure. Oh, also, by the way, if you think this is like a hype video, like, you know, like, um, I'm going to be showing you guys some off-whites or like, I don't know, like a bunch of Jordans. I really wish I was able to, but, you know, those are really, really expensive and I don't have those. I only have like like one hype shoe but hopefully in the future I can you know grow my collection because I really like shoes like I follow so many shoe pages and like I just dream of having shoes like dude <laughs> like those Travis Scott Jordan ones Ooh. but alright we're gonna start with my Vans this is like a very basic shoe collection video um but hopefully you enjoy and um yeah so this one, this one's like a really basic shoe, um, yeah, it's the old school type of band, and I've had these for quite a while to be honest. They're pretty cool though, um, yeah. I also have the red ones, and I've literally worn these probably like one time, like they're, they're really new. I think I wore them to like take a fit pic, and like I don't like any pictures, so I never posted, oh I think I did, but I deleted it. And the red one looks pretty cool, you know, but I, I don't know how to wear these. Like, I don't know what to wear them with, but they're very, very nice. And these are actually brand, brand new, like, I've had these for probably two years now, and I, like, I don't know why I got them. Ooh. And, um, but they're, like, pretty cool. Oh, yeah, and my favorite, all-time favorite type of shoe is an all-white shoe. I remember there was this one time where my mom literally would get so mad at me because all I would get was like white shoes and she would always be like, can't you just change it up a bit? No, I cannot. I like white shoes. <laughs> okay. Um, but I don't know because I mean white goes with everything, you know? So it's like, so like it goes with everything. <laughs> and then for slip-ons, um, these are, you know, the classic checkered bands um i got these oh my god they're like dirty my bad but these are actually very very dirty because i've worn them so many times it's time for a new pair like they're so dirty hold on damn they're very very dirty but i remember wearing these so so much i don't know they're like a cool shoe then i also have these slip-on bands they're like like a suede type of material like it's like very soft and um they're like a beige color kind of these are pretty cool though um they go with a lot of things and um slip-ons are really cool so it looks like i just put my dirty shoes on my bed and i promise i put a dirty towel under them and they are not getting my bed dirty i promise i promise all right back to the video now these slip-ons, I prefer these slip-ons than the like the other material type. These are the leather type, just because if you get them dirty, then it's very very easy to clean. And um, yeah, they're all white and they go with everything. And these are probably one of my favorites, just 
because like, you know, you can clean them off real quick. Okay, there are some pairs that I'm just like, why did I even like buy them? I like, I look back at them and I'm just like, those are kind of ugly. Like these, like, I don't even know what kind of color they are. Like, they're like caca color. <laughs> no, but like for real, like what kind of color is this? Because it's not green, it's not brown, it's just, they look gray. I think they look gray on camera. I don't know. I really don't know why I got these, but I got these a very, very long time ago. And a bunch of these shoes are very, very old because I actually really do take care of my shoes. Like, if there's one thing that annoys me so much is when someone steps on my shoes. Oh, especially when it's on purpose. Oh. But when it's on accident, I'm just like, okay, like, I'll let it slide. Like, it's an accident. But there was this one time I remember so clear. I think it was, like, seventh grade. I had some new white shoes. I think they were, like, Converse. And um, some guy was like, he's like, I'm going to step on your shoes. And I was like, please don't. Please don't. And then he was like, want to bet that I will? And I was like, like, no, just don't, you know, like don't step on my shoes and then my friend Christina shout out to Christina girl I love you and I miss you I can't wait to see you after quarantine she was all like yeah you probably shouldn't step on her shoes and then he was like oh no and then he he was probably like a size 14 dead ass no probably like a size like 10 or 11 but he had like a big foot like he had a huge foot and back in the day when I was back in the day back in like seventh grade I was literally like a size I think two two yeah probably two or three i don't know and um he steps on my shoe and gets it all dirty so okay i feel bad for doing this but it's like you don't do that like brand new shoes like really and just because you felt like it i literally kicked them so hard like i was like i warned you but like i feel bad but like i don't feel bad but like i feel bad but like i don't feel bad because like i told you you know like don't step on people's shoes but like i feel bad but, like, I don't feel bad. Okay, but, like, oh, whatever. Point of the story is, do not step on people's shoes. Like, that's so wrong. Like, stop it. Get help. Oh, and by the way, I just noticed that, um, okay, so it's, you know, we're in quarantine right now. And nail salons aren't open, so... My nails be looking crusty, and I have one nail. It's not the middle finger. But I can't take this nail off, so, like... Yeah, it's gonna look very crusty, musty, dusty, but just ignore that. Sorry, the nail salon isn't open, but Ooh. hope you understand my struggle. <laughs> okay, now these blue ones, these are pretty cool. Um, these are like, you know, they go with a lot of things too. They look kind of brand new too. I think I've had these since like freshman year, and I'm no longer in high school anymore. So, um, yeah, I've had these for a while. Then, of course, the all-black ones. Um, these are, you know, classics. I feel like this is for sure a must-have, along with, like, the white ones. And, um, yeah, and these, and these. You know, they're, like, the really basic ones. But these are pretty cool. They go with everything. Okay, here comes my favorite, all-time favorite shoes. And they're super basic, but, um, okay, these are my favorite because they just go with everything i feel like i'm saying that about every pair but i mean like they do um these i th like i'm not even lying i'm not even exaggerating i feel like i've gone through i think probably like probably like eight pairs yeah because like they get dirty so quick and then i feel like they're just like a must have you know it's like you need it in your closet just because one day you're just gonna need white shoes and they're gonna be there so if you don't have these in your collection or in your closet you should probably get some and they are white vans right now i currently have four pairs but there's one that's like super no there's two that are super dirty and I have those because in case, like, you know, of, like, an event or something, I can just take them and destroy them and not have to worry about my shoes. But these are white vans, and these actually got a coffee stain on them. They're still pretty clean. 
Then I also have um, these other white, like you see they're dirty. So I save these for like, oh my god, they have like dust on them. But yeah, you see these, I save them for like events because you can just get them dirty and not have to worry about anything. And then my friend Cynthia actually for my birthday got me a fresh new pair. And I haven't been able to use these and they're still in the box because they're literally brand new. Um, and I mean, we're in quarantine so I literally can't wear them anywhere. Well, yeah, actually I can. I can wear them to the kitchen, living room. I actually love the smell of new shoes. Like, <sighs> But yeah, these are brand new and, you know, they're all white, basic, super basic. Okay, I'm going to show you guys my favorite. Okay, no, it's not my favorite pair, but it's one of my favorite pairs. And these are some Gucci shoes. And I still have them in the box because I barely wear them. And um, I don't know, I like to keep them nice and clean. So these are some Gucci shoes, and I got these because these will literally go with anything as well, and they're like super nice and simple. They have like the little B, and then they're like two different colors. I feel like from the back, if anybody saw them, they would, they would like, someone would probably be like, oh, sh she's like mismatching shoes, but they're the same ones. And um, these were a Christmas gift, actually. And they come with like the little dust bags and stuff, like each one comes with it. Okay, but I'm gonna tell you guys something. Even though these were super expensive, they're not comfortable. Like they're really not comfortable. And I mean, I really didn't expect them to be comfortable because you're literally just paying for the brand. As bad as that sounds, but it's true. Like sometimes I'm just like, damn, I'm actually very, very dumb. But they're nice, you know, they're super nice. And yeah, they're not comfortable, but they're super cute, and yeah. Okay, next we're gonna go with Nikes. So these are some Air Max, um, and these I also really haven't worn them. I think I've worn them like twice, and I've had these since my freshman year. And like, they're like super new. But these are kind of nice. What I don't like about these is like, they make your foot like so huge from the top. And these are a size 4, which they're not big. Then I have this iconic pair. Oh my god. I remember I got these a long time ago. And these are the Jan... What are they? The Janoskis? Janoskis? Whatever they are. But yeah, Janoskis, Janoskis. However you pronounce it. But like, you get it. Um, these are the pink ones. And these are a skating shoe. Now this one, um, I got these also when they were like very hyped. Um, the Hirachis, and um, these were cool back then, but now looking at them, I'm like, my mom was right, they actually do look like a doctor shoe, but uh, they're cool, yeah. <laughs> okay, now this is another pair where I'm just like, why did I even get them? These pink ones, um, they're super basic, they're like super like simple, just like, you know, all pink. Um, I'm not sure why I got these. These are brand new. Haven't worn these at all. They're nice. Okay, these are another must-have in your collection. The most basic shoe every girl probably has. It's like a very iconic pair. It's like, you know, you need them. So these are the AF ones, the Air Force, um, all white Air Force. You know, these go with anything. Um, they're a very cool looking shoe. I feel like so many people have this pair, probably like everybody has this pair, but it's just like a really cool shoe, you know, that goes with everything. And these are actually kind of dirty now, they're like super, super creased, and I actually destroyed these when I went to VidCon, well not destroyed them, because they still look pretty clean, but I took them to VidCon, and I went to a party over there, and they got very, very dirty, and creased, because, you know, when you're like dancing, and like, you know, you do some moves like you know they like crease you know so these are the new pair that I got and I've worn these probably like once but they're like a fresh new pair um yeah these are a must-have for sure like if you don't have these get some they're great okay now this one I forgot what happened to the laces I think I washed them and then I left them somewhere and they just disappeared like I don't know, Casper the Ghost took them, or I'm not sure, but they disappeared, and, like, they have no laces. These are some, these are some high tops. Um, yeah, I haven't worn these in so long, like, they're getting yellow from the bottom. 
Now these Prestos, um, these are some pretty cool Prestos. They're like a mint green type of color. And, um, I don't know, Prestos are like, they're pretty cool. Like, the design is very, very nice. Okay, so these are like a workout shoe that I use to like, you know, go to the park or do exercise. Just like, you know, some basic little runners and yeah. Now this pair is my favorite. I think, I think this is my favorite out of all of them. These are some Jordan 1's and now these, um, I got them off of sneakers so I did not pay resale and these were super easy to get. I don't think these were hyped back then. But ever since somebody put them on TikTok, Jordan 1's are so popular. Like, they're super popular and there's like a bunch of girls that want them now. And that's pretty cool because honestly Jordan 1's, I think they're like the best Jordan. Yeah, Jordan 1's are just like super cool, like it's such a sick design and luckily, like I said, I was able to get them for retail so I did not pay resale but if you want these, you can get them now on StockX Never mind, don't get them there. Get them from Go. Yeah, that's a better website. Sneakers always does me dirty, like I've tried to get so many pairs on sneakers and I'm never lucky. I've tried getting like every hype pair there is and I'm not able to get any until I got these. And these were super easy to get. I got them right away. You guys want to know a super sad story? So my dream pair is probably like the satin black toes or um or the shattered backboards. And I didn't try to get the shattered backboards but I did try to get the black toes and Oh my god, I literally had five phones with me. Well, no, like two phones, my laptop. No, like three phones, my laptop, and my iPad, and I didn't get them. I was so, so sad, like, damn, I really didn't get them. And, like, obviously, if you don't get them for retail, then resale prices go crazy. And hopefully, I'm able to get them soon because that is one of my dream pairs. So, the black toes are for sure one of my dream pairs, and also the Dior high tops. They are so nice. Oh my god. Hopefully one day I'm able to get them, but damn, those Dior ones are like a thousand something, so I don't know. Imagine one day, like, I make another video and I'm sponsored by GOAT. <sighs> Imagine, imagine, imagine. Okay, now this one. These are like a mustard color. Yeah, it's a mustard color for sure. There's some Reeboks. These are very, very comfortable actually. And I've never worn these. They're brand new. But they're super comfortable. And I don't even know why I got this color. I think I got this color because my mom was like, Oh, you, you don't have this color. You know, like you should probably get a different color other than white. And I was like, okay. But I haven't even worn them, and I think it's been like two years. Sorry, Mom. Alright, now we're going to go with Converse. So these are some very basic shoes. But these are like, I don't know, they're like kind of cool. So these are the CDG Converse. Um, how do you pronounce it? The Comme de Garçon? Comme de course. I don't know, but these are the CDG ones, and these are the cream-colored high tops. I also have the low-top ones. These are... These are, I think, one of my favorites, too, because they just go with everything. And they're, like, a very simple shoe that looks good with outfits. So this is, like, a must-have, too, just because it's, like, I don't know, cool. <laughs> then I have the basic black high tops, and I've had these since I was, like, 14 years old. And I got these. I remember why I got these, because I, I needed them for a quinceañera that I was in. And for the surprise dance, we needed some black high tops. So, damn, I remember why I got these. For Adidas, Adidas is a very cool brand, but, like, I don't have a lot of pairs. I actually have one pair. These, the Stan Smith. Um, these are the pink Stan Smith, um, pink with white. And, yeah, this is, like, a very classic shoe. Pretty cool. Then I call these my boat shoes. These are some very old Sperry's. I don't know when I got them, but they're, like... Looking a little crusty, musty, dusty now. But these are like, you know, just comfortable summer shoes that that are comfortable. <laughs> but yes, that is all for my shoes. I think I have a total of 20 something, I think. But those are all my basic shoes that I have. I think the only ones that aren't basic are these. Like, these are kind of hard to get now. I think this is probably the only pair that's hyped in my collection. All the other ones are very basic, like you can go into any store and probably get them. You can find these shoes at Warehouse, at Champs, Foot Locker, you know. 
But yes, that is all for my shoe collection. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, let me know down below which ones are your favorite. I'm just kidding. Nobody's going to comment. Nobody listens to me. But that's fine. Whatever. It's okay. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you. And please DM me so I can give you a cookie or something. Because I have a feeling that nobody stays to watch till the end. But if you did, thank you. I appreciate it even though even if you watch one minute of my video I appreciate it all right so hopefully you come back for the next video and hopefully I'll be posting more often god damn I talk so much thank you so much for watching bye